This idea came about understanding that the society was in a position where there was a lot of upheaval taking place around equity, around diversity, around systemic racism, and we wanted to be able to have a tailored event called Build to Heal to have the necessary conversations to talk about the importance of diversity, the importance of inclusion within the construction industry as well. Target and Construct Reach have had a uh, kind of a long-standing relationship from the time they were incubated. We're in an industry that is uh, underrepresented uh, by, uh, by our customers, frankly, and, and we really want to have our stores built by the people that shop in them and, our, and, and build the industry that actually can, can reflect that. This one is different because we're rising from the ashes, everybody together. It's bringing young people together who haven't traditionally thought of going into construction, and all of a sudden, here comes Construct Reach with a variety, diversity of opportunities for young people. You can't change communities in just the workforce inclusion. It's great to have a job, but what lifts communities is an ability to participate in the economic development in their communities. And what that means is if I own a business, if you give me an opportunity, I bring my, my community with me. The most impactful thing for me was realizing that we all play a part and there's things going on behind the scenes. You know, a minority in a situation or as a person of color, um, you wouldn't expect so much representation and hearing some of the statistics, it's powerful to see that companies like, you know, Construct Reach and Target all playing a part in this. It's very important for people to hear. This event is important to me personally because it's a part in my mind of the, the larger uh, healing conversation that has to take place in communities like North Minneapolis, South Minneapolis, and the broader Twin Cities. When I think about economics, I think about jobs and schools, um, I think about healthcare. Those are all the various systems that impact our day-to-day -day lives. And so I, I feel like when we look at communities that are disadvantaged, if there are economic opportunities and good jobs available to them, then healing takes place. My favorite part of experiencing the I Built This event, it'll probably be the actual um, hands-on activity that I did, which was electrical. <laughs> I don't know a thing about electricity besides turn on the light, turn off the light, and plug out my phone. But I learned a ton of information. I actually was able to get in there. So just the fact that I was able to get in and you know not only know those things, but hands-on being able to do them was empowering. And I'm very excited about it. Heal to Heal, it means to me an opportunity to really understand the position that construction is in. There's a lot of physical damage here, but if we approach it the right way, we can really restore and rebuild not only buildings and structures, but relationships and community.